Would you like to know the best vendors to use to start building your business credit? Well, I'm about to reveal to you five of the top vendors to use to build initial business credit for your EIN that's not linked to your personal social security number. I'm gonna show you how to get approved with these vendors, even if you have no business credit established. Now, even if you've tried to build business credit and have failed before, I'm gonna show you vendors that actually sell stuff you really need and want to have that you can actually use to grow your business while building your business credit. I'm gonna show you how to get approved even if you can't get any other kind of financing, regardless of your cash flow, regardless of your credit quality, regardless of even if you do or don't have collateral, I'm gonna show you the best sources to use to start building your initial business credit. And along the way, I'm gonna give you my best tips and tactics to get approved for the most money and the highest credit lines with these vendors. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna get you access to our business credit building guide that's been downloaded over a million times that gives you the exact step-by-step -step process to succeed with building business credit. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. talk about business credit, we're talking about credit that you're building for your business EIN that's not linked to your personal social. So ultimately, you have consumer credit here with TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. We're talking about building a whole separate credit profile with Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, and Experian for your business that's separate from your personal credit profile. This gives you so many advantages. First of all, it more than doubles your borrowing ability because you could still continue to grow and build out your consumer credit profile, getting all kinds of credit cards, loans there, but you can still do the, exactly the same thing with your business. Your business can build its own credit profile, its own credit score, and then can use that to qualify for all kinds of revolving credit and make it easier for you to qualify for financing. Now, per SBA, credit limits are about 10 to 100 times higher for business credit accounts than they are consumer credit. So if you're used to $1,000 credit limits as a consumer, well, you probably can expect 10 to $100,000 limits for a business because a business has an appetite for more money. So not only are the limits much higher, but this is way easier and faster to get than consumer credit. As a matter of fact, using the starter vendors I'm going to show you today, you could build an initial credit profile and score in only 30 days and then use that to start accessing all kinds of revolving credit and even get to the end of this entire credit building process in less than six months. So it's fast to build. Plus, you can get business credit even when you can't get any other kind of financing. It's unsecured, so you don't need collateral. You don't need to have good credit. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you vendors that will actually approve you with no consumer credit check. And on top of that, you don't even need to have any kind of cash flow. There's no cash flow verification. So even as a brand new startup business, even as a high risk business, even as a business that's been denied before, you can still get these starter vendors, you can still build initial business credit, and then use that to qualify for all kinds of credit financing. And you need to do that because business credit is publicly accessible information. Unlike consumer credit, where I need your permission to pull your credit report, in the business world, anybody can access your business credit report. As a matter of fact, if you go to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax & Experience website to look into credit monitoring, the very first question they ask is, do you want your credit report or that of another business? So you need to make sure you control your reputation and by building your business credit, it just just makes you more fundable. It helps you get more money for your business at better terms. So now you know why you want to build business credit. The next question is, where can you go to get started? So let's talk about the vendors to start building your initial business credit. Uline is one of my absolute favorite vendors to start building initial business credit. First of all, they'll give you business credit approvals even if you have no other credit on your business credit report. So even if you've never had any credit report to the credit reporting agencies for your business, you can still get approved for Uline. And they sell stuff like that we want and need. They sell all kinds of shipping supplies and other supplies that you're probably using or gonna use anyways to grow your business. But they'll give you a credit line you can use to buy stuff with them and they report it to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian. That's another nice thing is that when you build business credit, if you wanna do it fast, you have to work with starter vendors that report to more than one business credit reporting agency. And here's why. These are called payment experiences, the reporting of an account to a business credit reporting agency. So with Uline, you get two payment experiences because they report to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian. Once you have five payment experiences, you can start getting revolving credit at most major retailers, most major stores. So in order to be able to build it quickly, you want to get credit with vendors that report to more than one reporting agency if you can. And Uline does just that by reporting to Equifax or Experian and DMD. Now, it's pretty easy to get approved with them. You should have a Dun's number with Dun & Bradstreet, which 
which is free to get with Dun & Bradstreet. If you followed our training on fundability, you should already have this done. You're also going to want to make sure you have your business entity set up. You're going to need a business EIN. You're going to need a business phone number. And you need to make sure that phone number is listed with 411. If you can get a license for your business in your county, in your city, your state, your industry, get a license as well that makes approval with Uline even easier. So use this as your initial starter vendor, maybe even the first account that you add on your business credit report. One of my other favorite starter vendors is actually through a WEX fleet card. Now, if you're familiar with WEX, they offer fleet cards for you to be able to fuel your vehicle, repair, maintain vehicles. So especially if you're in the transportation industry or if you're in an industry where you need a vehicle or a fleet of vehicles for your business, the WEX fleet card is the way to go. Now, they also report to Dun & Bradstreet and Experience. You get two payment experiences. And typically, they may want $500 down payment and a personal guarantee if you don't already have some initial accounts on your business credit report. So this might not be one of the ones you start with initially, or it might be, depending on how often you're gonna use this account. So if you don't mind the personal guarantee and deposit, use this as one of your initial accounts. If you do, then get a handful of payment experiences first before you get the WEX fleet card. Now you should have your DUNS number, you should have a phone number, and a business phone number needs to be listed with 411. You need an entity set up, preferably a corporation, although any entity they'll typically approve you, and you've gotta have an EIN number. Believe it or not, you could be a sole proprietor and not have an EIN, but you need to have an EIN number and make sure that all of your online listings are congruent. Everywhere your business is listed, the name, the address, the phone number is all congruent. If you've done those things, you should be able to get approved for this credit card. Another vendor to start building initial business credit with is Granger. Now, Granger reports to Dun & Bradstreet, which is the biggest of the business credit reporting agencies, and you need three accounts with Dun & Bradstreet before they create the credit profile and score. So I've already given you the first two. This can be the third one that will help you build your credit profile and score with Dun & Bradstreet. Now, what I love about Granger is if you have a business license, they automatically give you like a $2,000 to $2,500 credit line. So if you can get a license in your county, in your state, in your industry, get a license, and it helps you get a high limit approval right away from Granger, and that means that future approvals from other credit sources are going to be higher as well. Now, Granger sells all kinds of outdoor supplies. I often use them for first aid kits, for batteries, for those type of things. So they sell stuff that you're going to want and need. You can actually use to grow your business, and the, sim the requirements are very similar to what we've already talked about. You need a DUNS number set up. You want to make sure all of your information online is congruent. Get a business phone number. Make sure the phone number is listed with 411. Set up your entity. Have an EIN number and especially make sure all your information online is congruent. If you've done that, then there's a good chance you can get approved for a high limit credit line with Granger to start building your initial business credit. Now, SupplyWorks is yet another great starter vendor to get going with. They're actually owned by Home Depot, and they sell all kinds of building materials and supplies that you can use for any number of different purposes. Now, they report to Experian, and Experian is most commonly used by credit card issuers. So if you want to get credit lines and credit cards in the future, you need to really build your business credit with Experian. SupplyWorks helps you do that. Now, you need very similar requirements to be able to get approved as we talk about the other sources, an entity in good standing, an EIN number, a DUNS number, your phone number, listed with 411. They're also going to want to ask for a bank reference. So you should have a business bank account set up in order to actually qualify for this account. It's a great starter vendor. They'll give you credit even when you have no other. So you might even want to jump into this before you grab that WEX fleet card. So let's talk about another cool source for helping you build initial business credit. And that source is Phillips 76. You know them. They have like gas stations all over the country. So Phillips 76 reports the Experian and Dun & Bradstreet, much similar to the WEX fleet card. Uh, they will oftentimes require a $500 deposit and a personal guarantee unless you have some of these other accounts reporting first. So you might not want to just get started with them. You might want to add some accounts before you get to this one, but a great starter vendor to help you build initial business credit because you get two payment experiences with this one. And they're great to be able to add fuel to your vehicles, repair, maintenance of vehicles as well. So with this account, you need to have very similar requirements we've talked about already. The entity in good standing, the EIN number set up, the DUNS number set up, the business phone number listed with 411 as well. And then on top of that, they're going to ask for a bank reference. So you should have your business bank account set up as well. So those are five powerful starter vendors to build your initial business credit profile and score. Now that you know all five, do you want even more details on building your business credit? How about three business credit reports? Well, give us a call and on a free consultation call with us, we'll do a fundability assessment to find all the things that need to be fixed with
with your fundability so you can actually qualify for more credit and financing. We'll help you get your business credit reports with Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax Experian for free. We'll go over those with you and give you tips and tactics to build your business credit. And we'll do a funding assessment. We'll tell you all the funding you can qualify for right now. That all happens on a free consultation. Give us a call, 877-600-2487, 877-600-2487. Also, don't forget to grab our free guide on building business credit. And you can grab that at creditsuite.com forward slash EIN. Creditsuite.com forward slash EIN gives you the step-by-step -step guide. Been downloaded over a million times. So very popular. That will give you all the information on improving your fundability, on getting more vendors. And it also has more information on other accounts that you can qualify for after you've built your initial vendor credit. Did you get value? You got value from this. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe and keep your eye out for more training where we talk about more cool ways to start and grow your business and get the money you need to do so along the way.